it's Lolly at Lollipop Stitches. <laughs> it's been a very long time. Um, I think the last update that I did was before Christmas. <laughs> so I have a lot to show. So I'm going to actually have to film this in segments because there's just too much to do in one uh, sitting and um, the table's not that spacey so I can't go through have it all to go through because I've got nowhere to put it so hi how is everybody doing um if you're new here this is a channel about cross stitching goes into quilting now um and any other crafty nonsense that I get up to um I share patterns that I'm stitching on things that I've finished various other nonsense that I go through um I can't even remember how to do this it's been that long <laughs> I'm kidding we all know it's like riding the bike um so it is March the 1st and as I said I haven't been here for some time I think it was just before Christmas maybe like the week before Christmas that I did an update and I kept putting it off and putting it off and here we are now because I've got shit done of shit to show you um so I'll just do a bit of housekeeping first so just an update to the channel um I've removed all the monetization from the channel so there'll be there should be no ads um I just find it kind of puts I know it puts me off watching videos especially the ads that when you monetize your channel you can set the the settings and when the ads roll and stuff and if you don't check that when you're uploading your video ads will automatically roll mid video multiple times I find that quite annoying so I don't want that on my channel and you ain't gonna get it on this channel so I've removed the monetization from the channel because you don't get anything from it anyway let's be honest I've had this uh, channel now for I think three four years now um and pff, since i had it monetized i think i've made like 70 pound over the three years four years um so it's unless you're creating content every day and you have that monetization it's not worth it i'm not here for that i'm sure you're not here for that too um i'm here just to share stitching and hang out with you guys so the housekeeping so yeah that's been removed from the channel it's been removed from all the previous videos as well so when you watch if you if you delve into the deep dark depths of uh lollipop stitches flush tube history those videos won't be advertised like they won't have ads and stuff on um however if you do want to support the channel in other ways or you know anything like that um, in the description box below there is a link to my buy me a coffee website um, and that is just if you want to support me in, in my my own ways <laughs> and keep coming back buy me a coffee I'm a huge coffee fan and I'm not a fancy coffee fan I just like black coffee <laughs> give me that sweet nectar <laughs> um, so yeah, that'll be link linked below if anybody wants to sponsor the channel. Not sponsor, but like, you know, support the channel, support the content that I do create and help me um, have more giveaways because that will help towards postage costs and all that wonderful stuff. Um, and I do have a lot of stuff stacked up ready for giveaways. I just need to make videos and do, th do it. <laughs> so um, what else? The housekeeping. Um, my, I reopened my Etsy store today so my Etsy store normally um, last year I invested in making face masks because you know global pandemic um, and I started selling those on my Etsy I also have previously sold needle minders, project bags, um, reusable custom cups and I've also got listed on there now um, grime guards for your Q-snaps so um, the shop reopened today with a new stock of needle minders, uh, some grime guard stock which will be constantly updated um, with different fabric selections, uh, 
said so needle minders. Reusable cups with different uh, custom designs on them. Um, which you can also customise with your name. There's an option for that in the shop. Um, uh, grime cards. Did I say grime cards? <laughs> project bags. I'm still making project bags. Um, a few people were on it. So I reopened. I said I was reopening the shop on 1st of March. Uh, which is today. Um, however, last night I, I actually reopened it before I went to bed um, because I didn't know if I'd have time to do it this morning. Um, and those people that signed up for shop notifications got in there very quickly because the project bags that were listed sold out straight away. Um, there will be more project bags uh, listed every week. So I'm going to do a listing of project bags once a week it's just so it's easy enough for me to manage and uh yeah so the next project bags will be going on live next monday <laughs> or sunday night uh probably sunday night to be fair um so yeah i'm back into the ums that was quick and simple see it's like riding a bike um so that's like shop channel housekeeping yada 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 um everything will be linked below so the buy me a coffee will be linked below my etsy store will be linked below if you're following me or not following me on Instagram, that's linked below. What else is linked below? I think that's it for me personally, housekeeping. Yeah, I think that's everything. Pretty sure it is. It's been a while. <clears throat> um, personally, housekeeping. <laughs> that's a weird thing to say. Um, so, I've not been here since December. Uh, a lot of stuff's happened since then. Um, before Christmas, my granddad got COVID. Luckily, he recovered um, and was back home by Christmas Eve, which was great. Although we couldn't see uh, my granddad because of the Christmas restrictions that we have in the UK. <clears throat> um, but he's doing well. He's all good. Uh, family's doing good. Um, unfortunately, in... January, I think it was like the 21st of January, we lost my nan um, to COVID um, and old age in general. My nan was 89, she <laughs> had a very long life, uh, a well lived life. Um, unfortunately, it was just that time had come, um, and no doubt COVID shunted it along uh, a lot quicker than we expected. Um, we didn't know she had COVID because um, she's in a care home or she was in a care home. Uh, we didn't, we weren't aware that she had COVID until um, after uh, she'd passed. So, yeah. For those that don't think COVID exists, it does. And it will affect you at some point. So, don't be stupid, get vaccinated and wear a mask. That's all I'm going to say, because those idiots out there that don't think it's real or just think it's some um, government made up nonsense. Try going to a funeral during a lockdown and not being able to see your family until the funeral. OK, that's all I'm going to say. Um, other than that, <laughs> work's been uh, busy uh, this year so far. Uh, it's just, you know, it is a, a very busy time and coming up to Easter it'll be a busy time. Um, so yeah, just uh, plodding along. So I've been crafting a lot, quilting a, a fair bit um, and doing all the things. So yeah, that's kind of my update. We're, so I'm in the UK, obviously, English accent. Um, <laughs> we, I think it was the beginning of March, just not long after New Year's, we were put straight back into lockdown because the, um, COVID figures were rising and the death toll was rising. Um, an unprecedented amount because people are fucking stupid, excuse the language, but it gets me so angry because people are stupid. Um. So yeah, we were shunted right back into lockdown 
uh, version 3, uh, the beginning of January I think it was. Um, yeah, so non-essential stuff closed, everything, no leaving the house for non-essential things, um, no seeing anyone, <laughs> um, and just working from home uh, if possible. So yeah, so it's been a fun start to the year. Um, there is a plan to get us out because the figures have started to come down slowly. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, me, I don't get, me personally, I'm not a fan of our current uh, PM. Not a fan whatsoever. Um, I do, however, think this plan is a very good plan that could work if people are smart. And the fact that there's five weeks between the different opening of levels of stuff, um, it gives them time to analyse what's being reopened. If it's having an impact, then move on to the next step, right? It's smart. And by the time everything is scheduled to reopen, to have normality back, um, the majority of the adult generation uh, population, should I say, um, is slated to be vaccinated. So hopefully, we'll see. Um, I am. I do have. Yeah, I, it is what it is. We'll see what happens. But be smart. Stay home. If you don't need to go out, don't go out. If you have to go shopping, food shopping, wear a mask. Don't wear it here. Don't wear it here. Wear it here. Covering everything. It's fine. Just wear it. It doesn't impact you. In fact, you're probably saving someone. Um, so yeah. That's my spiel about that. <laughs> um, so this part of the video, I'm going to go through whips. Um, and then I'll stop, come back, reorganise record the next section so you'll hear for the cross stitch um i will be showing you what i've been working on since december what works in progress i've been working on and um, that are still in progress that I haven't finished um yeah let's get right into it so the first one is the dark queen of the sea cell by autumn lane stitchery um so i'm stitching this on the called for fabric from under the seas fabrics um it's called bewitched i'm stitching it on 32 count lugana even weave fabric and it's in my i suppose i'll go this way it's in my bag from diana it is kismet stitches it's fabulous final fronted bag so i managed to catch up with this uh this this month no <laughs> february um and I think the next release comes out today. So I'm all ready. Um, I have chosen some of the alter alternative versions of the releases that have come out. So if you are offended by um, naked bodies, <laughs> please avert your eyes. <laughs> um, but let's scooch over this way. So um, this is where it's at at the moment so all up to date um her hair was the from the add-on package of the hair releases because so many people wanted to do different styles hair style hairs um so yeah that's my queen of the dark seas dark dark queen of, oh my god dark queen of the seas so um what can I tell you about this? All the ink is stitched in at all from DMC. I chose the school option. Ops. Um, I mean, you can't ever really tell with at all, but I know it's there, so it looks good. I really apologise if you just heard my stomach rumble as well. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's uh, where she's at. I think the next part of the release is the two uh, sections, it's the rest of the top section, I believe, from what 
Aaron and Cassandra were saying in their last update video, I think, or it was on the group, not really sure. Um, so yeah, that's that one. That's being stitched two over two. It's back in there. I've got a whole list for everything to make sure I go over everything and it's all good so I don't forget everything <laughs> um, because I am forgetful. Um, so, yeah. So, that's that one. Um, the next one that I stitched on is in another uh, Diana bag from It Is Kismet Stitches. Um, this, I think this is part of the Christmas present. Um, vinyl fronted, love me a vinyl fronted project bag. So this project is, I don't actually think I have the cover photo. Uh, do I? Oh. Mm, it's not really the cover photo, but this is um, the Haunted Mansion from Good Morning Maui. So this is the full kind of like ride through of all the uh, characters in the Haunted Mansion in Disney. Um, and I am stitching this on 32 count Belfast linen. It's called Ocean, Ocean's Depth and it's from Sparkly's Hand Dyed Fabrics. Um, and I managed to get the top row done and start on the second row. Doesn't it all look fabulous? I can't really see through the fabric if that's, no, but hey ho. I assume that's in shot. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, uh, it's quite a large piece of fabric as well. Um, so that's the first row and the start of the second row for Haunted Mansion. Um, I did start a sale for that and I think it's hashtag happy hauntings sale. Um, but that's all on Instagram if you need that information. Okay, so next I was invited by Fat Quarter Shop to join in some of uh, the stitch alongs that they do. Um, so Fat Quarter Shop, uh, Kate at Fat Quarter Shop normally reaches out um, with any information about stitch alongs that I want to, that they want to ask me to take part in. So February was obviously Black History Month, um, which should not be Um, it should not just be celebrated for one month, it should be all year round, it should. Um, so this is the pattern, so they did a cross stitch pattern, um, this pattern was also a quilt pattern and then they did an additional uh, cross stitch pattern. I think this was the original pattern that they were going to choose, then they designed the quilt and then they made the quilt pattern, the cross stitch pattern, the main pattern. So for throughout um, February, any uh, patterns or kits or anything to do with the stitch along or the quilt along for the Stronger Together, um, anything that was purchased, Fat Quarter Shop uh, donated or have donated to the um, donated to uh, the UNCF so it's a United Negro College Fund um, I think Kimberly did a live last week and she said that the total would be announced today of how much they're donating which is great so I need to I'm used to showing stuff this way I should have scooted that way um, so I started with this one um, which is still a whip and I'll show you where that's at so I've, you can see I've done the, the square, the quilt square, um, stronger. I've just got together and the outline to do. Um, so that's, that one is still a whip. 
this one I have finished. So I'll show you that when I show the finishes. Um, the, the fabric that that is stitched on, that both piece, pieces are stitched on, is 32 count even weave uh, fabric of the month April 2019 from Sparkos hand dyed fabric. Again, I've got a list going through everything, making sure I tell you everything. Um, okay, next whip. Well, this was a new start um, and it's still a whip. Um, so this is in the 805 stitcher bag, the blue footed boobies. Um, this is Beach Dance, Beach Dance by Lindy Stitches. There we go. And this was a start for Nick at uh, Stitches with Sphinxes. Nick Ann. So, mm -hmm. um, for her birthday in January. I got the full kitten caboodle from uh, Lindy Stitches. Um, so I'll show you where I'm at. <laughs> I haven't started a lot. This way. Why not a place to start on the fabric? Um, so this fabric is 32 count Murano even weave. From, and it's called Saharan Dunes, and this is from Jodie Reed Designs. I've got it the right way, we're okay. Um, and that's all I started, to be fair. Not that much. But hey, it's a start, and I've not stitched on it since. Apologies, Nick. I suck. <laughs> but there is a reason. <laughs> Um, okay, so the next whip, this is in a Christine Stitch All The Things bag. Um, this is um, the Faces of Robin Williams from a company that I'm not going to show you who it's from because I don't, I'm no longer associating that company with this pattern because I do not support that company anymore um so i started this for my birthday in september last year i also got one of the uh, the project trackers from s ward designs i just downloaded uh, i purchased the pdf from her etsy and downloaded it um so yeah so i started it on my birthday last year stitched on it a couple of days i'm using pattern keeper for it which is life-changing um, and I stitched on this for four days in January. I thought it was longer than that. I haven't stitched on it in February. That's disgusting. Um, so this fabric is <clears throat> uh, 25 count Stormy Grey by Zweigart. And that's where I'm at. It's a lot of confetti. It's Robin's chin. And that's where his mouth will be. And this is his nose. <laughs> in case you can't tell um but i really like stitching on it i'm doing it 25 count one over one so yeah it's going to be a forever project that one is um next is this was an old whip that i wanted to stitch on so i pulled it back out bear with me um I keep the, the threads in my bag from M. Kisser, Millennium Falcon. Um, so this was a freebie chart from uh, Jen at Whistle Stop Stitcher uh, for pandemic shit last year. You know the drill. Um, oh, I need to take it out of the cue snap. Bear with me. Uno Memento. So I'm stitching this on 30, oh no, this is 28 count, Jaslyn Even Weave, and it is, um, it's called Bayou by Sparkly's Hand Dyed Fabrics. So that's what I've done so far. 
the thread that I'm using is Pink Carnation from Victorian Motto Sampler Shop, which pops insanely well on this fabric. Now, I am adapting this pattern for something else. Not adapting it for something else, but there's something going here on the fabric and it's partially stitched and I don't want to show you yet. Um, I designed it myself because why not? Um, I mean, I could show you that, I guess. I'll give you a sneak peek of what I'm doing. And some people might be able to guess straight away what it is. Um, so that's what, a, what I'm doing. If you know, comment below if you know what it is. Um, um, and that's 28 count. I'm doing it one over one, so I'm not a huge fan of one over one on 28 count, as we know. Um, Bendy Michelle will tell you. Um, I have thrown a lot of projects into the unfinished pile because of it being stitched one over one on 28 count. A lot of projects. And I'll never learn. Never. But I like doing it. This one I wanted it I started stitching it two over two. Um but the lettering was just too big for me. I didn't I didn't want a huge piece. So I just did it redid it one over one. Um okay and then the last whip is in a bag that I spilled coffee over in a car. I think that was it before lockdown version one. Um, so this is Season Screamings by the Witchy Stitcher and I started this for um, Diana's Kismet, hashtag Kismas in July sale. It wasn't started last year, I think it was the year before. Um, I didn't, I think I stitched on it for like a week <laughs> during July last year. But I really wanted to pull it out, I really wanted to work on it like last week. So I just pulled it out, started working on it. Uh, so like Kismas in July and February. <laughs> it worked, it's great. Um, so this is, I'm not going to take it out of the cue snap. Um, so I'm working on the, the font where it says Season Screamings. Because I orientated this fabric the wrong way. So um, I didn't think I was going to have enough space left. But I do. Um, I have like an inch and a half left at the bottom of the fabric. Not as close as Di um, Michelle's Blackened Sky, but it's close. Um, but it will fit. More importantly, it will fit. So now I'm just working through that. Um, so yeah, I've been stitching on that for like a week, hoping to get a bit more progress on it, and then I'll probably move on to something else. Um, keep that out because I'm stitching on it. Um, so. Those are the whips and update, and that's 28 minutes. Oh, this is going to be a long video, but hey ho. Um, so yeah, I'll come back, I'll reorganise, and I'll come back with starts and finishes. Okay, so now we're going to go on to finished projects. These are finished stitched projects. They are not fully finished objects. Or FFOs as we like to say. Um, so I don't have, I think I've got five to show. Um, so the first one as I said not been here for a while. So this one is called Ho 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 and it's by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. This was a Christmas stitch. Um, uh, this is stitched on 32 count Murano even weave and it's called Argyle Coast and it's the February 2020 fabric of the month from Jodery Designs. Oh wait a bit. Um so that's that guy all stitched up. Cute right? Um I think I converted all the colours to some Victoria Motto sampler shop threads and um to my kind of Christmassy colours. That I love <laughs> so yeah he was a really quick stitch so I started it on the 28th of November and I finished it on the 20th of December 
I mean, I probably could have stitched it quicker, but I think I was doing other stuff. So that's that one. Uh, next one is, um, this was a whip that I started, or a project that I started February, 21st of February, 2020. No, that can't be right. Might have been 21st of January. You silly sausage lol. 21st of January, 2020, because I took it to Paris, uh, Disneyland Paris with me. And I finished it on the 29th of December. Um, so this is We're Made For Each Other and it's by the Witchy Stitcher. Um, and it's Frankenstein and His Bride. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, so this fabric is called Witch's Brew. Um, and it's from XG Designs. I got the Halloween pack. Um, so there was three fabrics. Um, so I've still got half of that fabric left to use for something else. Um, but I did uh, the green, some of the green. I didn't do any of the hearts in at all. Why? Um, but I did that green outline in at all. DMC at all. And they're both beautiful. Beautiful. Um, so it was, I mean, it's quite a large stitch. I also did some of her hair in a towel. You probably can't tell. Oh, no, you can. Um, what else? Oh, I did her lips in a towel. I don't know if you can see that. Her eyes in a towel. And her hair streak in a towel. Because, you know, she got to be sparky and, sparkly and fabulous. Um, so that's those. Uh, next one was a Valentine stitch. <laughs> um, and this is from... This, was a, this is a design from Top Knot Stitcher, Abby. Um, and... It's called Be My Boo. Be my boo, and it's kind of like a uh, Halloween Valentine's kind of stitch. So that's that one. How cute! He's all in a twirl. Sparkly ghost. Be my boo. Um, I changed all the threads. Kind of the same colours as charted, but I just chose some Victoria mottos that I've got. Over there. Um, so yeah, this fabric is 32 cam even weave Murano and it's called Pretoria Jacarandas. Jacarandas. Probably butchering that. And it was the September 2020 fabric of the month from Jodery Designs. So that's that one. Next one is on the same fabric on the other side. <laughs> So whilst in the uh, Halloween Valentine's uh, Halloween mode, um, uh, I think at the end of January, um, Good Morning Maui had like a 50% off sale as a thank you to reaching so many likes on Instagram, perhaps. I can't remember. Sounds about right, because I brought a lot of patterns. <laughs> um, one of the patterns that I brought was, uh, it's called Slashers. Yeah. Um, so I took Ghost Faced from it <laughs> and made him into a Halloween Valentine. He's all in a twirl, sparkly Ghost Face. Um, and I just stitched this really quickly, charted, haphazard, as you do. Um, so yeah, those are my two Valentine Halloween stitches, both on the same fabrics. Um, and then the other F FO, finished object, um, as I said before, it's the Stronger Together quilt cross stitch pattern for Stronger Together from Fat Quarter Shop.
this was a really quick stitch it was just four weeks and um fat quarter shop actually broke it down into sections so you did did the outside of one week the stars the second week the f green flying geese the next week and then the patchworky quilty bit on the last week and it was all completed um i found it really really therapeutic to stitch this because once you know the count of each square or each star or anything it was so easy to stitch and it makes me want to do something else kind of like that i'm thinking probably like an ink circles might be like that or i'd have to have a look something symmetrical um you know what i mean um so those are my finishes which is it's a few it's not many but it's a few um so yeah those are those um so next i will go through um quilty stuff so if you don't want to actually i'll save that to the end i'll save the quilty stuff to the end next will be haul so i'm just going to quickly go through haul um I it's been long <laughs> um back in the room um it's been a long time since I've done a video so I don't actually know everything that I brought but this is stuff I've remembered that I can show you so first off is the flamingo Christmas designs from hand on hands on designs flamingo all the way Fala la mingo and flamingo bells. So I'm going to try and get these done for this Christmas. Hopefully, she says. We shall see. <laughs> um, I got the um. I think I mentioned it. I got the quilt kit for the Stronger Together quilt from Fat Quarter Shop. Fat Quarter Shop. Um, so it's all Ruby Star Society. Uh, Rashida Common Hale yes that's right um, all of her speckled collection so I've got that to do that um, I also got I think if you were here with me before Christmas um, you sh saw a sneak peek of the quilt that I was making for my sister for Christmas and I was using a San Francisco fabric panel from Riley Blake Designs. It was kind of a tester, right? That quilt was kind of a tester because I wanted this fabric panel, <laughs> hooray for Hollywood, from Riley Blake Designs. Um, and it's a Hollywood, California panel, so I can make myself a Hollywood quilt. I have an idea for this quilt. I don't know how how I'm going to do it. But it might involve some testing of printing on fabric. Now, I've done printing on fabric before for embroidery. But that's obviously covered in cotton when you stitch over it. So I don't know what... Or how I'm gonna, or if there's any way to do it. So what I, I want, what I'm thinking, what I want to do is do like my favourite film posters as a border around the edge. It's an idea. It's out there. We'll see what happens. Um. So yeah, that's that. Next in the haul section, um, I ordered some fabrics just after Christmas from Chromatic Alchemy. I haven't had anything from them in quite some time so I placed an order uh, which was influenced by a friend. <laughs> um, she told me that she ordered some so I went browsing and then I ordered some. Um, so I'll just go through those. I'm not taking them out of packets because that's a bit of an effort. Um, so this one is called Eyelat. Eyelat. Um, so it's a bluey green fabric, 32 count linen, that's the name. 
mermaid appropriate, right? Uh, the next one, Owl's Dark Magic. I think I had this in Ada and I sent it to Michelle a long time ago because I'm not an Ada stitcher really. Um, so yeah, this is dark blues, purples. Next one is, um, no idea what that says. Pinky purple. Nice. Uh, Maelstrom. Could be another mermaid tank. Amtears. Bright red. So bright. But I like it. I'm thinking murderous. Um, and then the last one is. I can't read that right. In. Yeah, I have no idea what that says. Um, and it's a purple. And blue. So I got those from Chromatic Alchemy. And then the last thing I got, so I've been after this for quite some time um, to reduce my storage for my floss because it just takes up everywhere. And I, I remove stuff. You probably heard my stomach rumble then again. I'm hungry and want lunch. Um, but I need to get this done. So, a lot of people in the US have easy access to this. I will tell you now, it is not easy for us in the UK to get these floss boxes. Um, so it's by a company called Creative Options. There is a UK website. Their stock comes from the US. Um, when I checked, I think it was October, I checked on the website, <clears throat> they were out of stock, but you could sign up to be notified when it was back in stock. December happened, there were obviously delays and stuff, shipping. Um, I received a notification to say that it was back in stock. I ordered two. And it's the double-sided floss box from Creative Options. It's a whole set of DMC, obviously. Um, so I've already personalised it <laughs> and I've already organised all my floss. So this is the main my main floss box with my DMC collection. Um, this is a Libs Elliot sticker that we got with Patreon. This was from Diana. This was from a Crafty Quilt Swap that I did. This was from my mom. <laughs> How funny. Um, I got this at Christmas from my mum. Another one from Diana. This was um, a Loot Crate exclusive. Um, I think this one was also from Diana. And this one was from... I can't remember where I got that one from. But it's uh, Harry Potter. Um, so yeah, so in this I've got all my main bobbin collection. And um, the second one... I've got all my duplicates, I have a lot of duplicates, which is super annoying, and any hand dyed floss that I've got bobbinated. So um, this has changed everything. I'm not going to keep all my flosses in my projects. Um, this is my project tray. Um, I can just go to my box and get the required floss that I need. And they just stay there, right? This is fabric organisation and quilty shit. Um, so that's kind of it for hauls that I think anybody would be interested in. <laughs> um, as I said, if you are in the UK and you're looking for those storage boxes, I'll link the Creative Options website below. But if it's out of stock, uh, you can sign up to get notification or you can contact. What I did, I contacted them directly asking when it would be in stock um, and they added me to... The notification list so there's always a way to be told about something um, if you can't find it out on the website um, so that's haul um, I might cover quilty stuff in a separate video because this is going to be a long video um, yeah let's do that um, I'll cover quilty stuff in a different video um, so I get um, 
products from Fat Quarter Shop to try out, review, um, share with followers. You've probably seen other channels do it. I know um, Christine at Fat, um, Stitch All The Things has uh, the same stuff. Um, I have accumulated quite a lot and it will be for giveaways. So what I'm gonna do this week Okay, so um, I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers, which is bonkers, to be fair. Um, so I'm going to do a giveaway, <clears throat> and this is what you are entering to win. Giveaway, usual rules apply. Um, I will ship international. However, if you do want to um, help towards costs of shipping, again, the buy me a coffee link is linked below um, and support in the channel. Um, you have to be a subscriber, be over the age of 18 and do not say giveaway in the comments. Um, um, so what you are entering to win is the um, Laurie Holt of Be In My Bonnets uh, prim and proper pattern and I think they're doing a stitch on the stitch along on this um, on Fat Quartz Shop soon or it started. Um, the fabric that I'm going to send with it is called Barley and it's 25 count Lugana. It's not the same fabric colour as charted for but it's, it's there, it's good. Um, a Prim Star needle minder. So it's quite a good needle minder, I do like that. And an Aurafil Prim kit. So this has got 20 Aurifil floss in it. You're good to go. And I think all of, pretty much think all of the colours that are called for are in this box. Um, so yeah. If you want to win this lot, tell me below in the comments what has been your favourite thing of 2021 <laughs> so far make sure you use 2021 as the, that's what i'll be looking for in the comments to pick a winner um so yeah the giveaway will close by the next time i do a video hopefully it won't be too long um i'll do a separate quilty update uh, maybe later this week um just to break it up a little bit in case you don't want to be here for the quilty stuff um but yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back because I haven't been here. Um, yeah, I hope everyone's keeping safe and well and I hope everyone's taking the time out to have a mental break from anything that you need to take a break from. It's been a hard year, 12 months, um, but there is light at the end of the tunnel, <laughs> hopefully, and you know, 2021-22, um, more so 2022, I'm hoping I can get back stateside, hopefully, um, so yeah, I need a holiday, I need a international holiday, <laughs> um, but yeah, 2022 is probably going to be the one, um, so yeah, if you enjoy the content, like subscribe go follow me on instagram because i post daily updates on instagram if you want to support the channel buy me a coffee link below and yeah i will see you guys soon so peace out nerds bye